We are just a little more than three minutes until the opening bell on this Tuesday morning, and it looks like we are going to have a cons- considerably higher open. That's as we are getting some glimmers of hope from negotiations uh, between Russian and Ukrainian representatives. They have been going on in Turkey, and we've been getting some tentative reports there that perhaps progress is being made. So we are seeing stocks uh, go higher, indicating a higher open, and oil prices have been coming off the boil. So they are now below Hundred dollars a barrel. I had to wait a beat to see if that was still true, Brian Sassi. So you that's something you. we've been watching this morning. Something else we're watching this morning are the meme stocks, um, and that's because they have been on another run. So is it the return of meme stocks more permanently? I don't know, but you know, this is the action that we saw yesterday in the meme stocks. GameStop up for the tenth straight session. It was its longest. Uh, longest winning streak since April 2010, up 143%. Um, and so that sort of triggered to some, um, triggered by some extent to Ryan Cohen buying 100,000 shares last week. So, um, and then AMC up 45% yesterday after CEO Adam Aaron said the companies might make more transformational deals. You can see though, GameStop is stopping. It's not making it, at least doesn't look like right now, it's going to make it 11th straight sessions higher saws. Yeah, it's been, uh, it, I've spent the, a large part of this morning, Julie, in the uh, the Reddit chat rooms for AMC and GameStop, and there's one overarching theme. You can just sense the enthusiasm, at least for now, is back. Now, we're not talking January 2021 enthusiasm amongst these meme traders or these retail investors, but still, there's a certain level of enthusiasm and bullishness on AMC and GameStop uh, today, yesterday, and during th- throughout this advance the past week that wasn't there for the most part of March. And you, there have been catalysts. To your point, Julie, you had uh, Ryan Cohen out here buying 100,000 shares last week. That's a positive catalyst. Also settling uh, his case with Bed Bath & Beyond, perhaps could devote his attention back to GameStop. You had AMC out here buying a gold miner. So there's been catalysts that are right in the wheelhouse of these meme stock investors that they view as potentially bullish for each company. Yeah, I mean, to be clear, right, you've had fans of these companies who have just held on to them consistently throughout this whole period, and then you get little flares of activity. That's happened pretty much since the beginning of the meme stock craze that you've gotten these little flares. This is a little bit more of a sustained one than we've seen certainly recently. Um, Yesterday, GameStop and AMC were the second and third most actively traded stocks on the Fidelity platform, which of course is a heavily retail platform. They were second only to Tesla. Options activity was high too. I was taking a look at the short interest on these stocks, by the way, which you know I like to do. GameStop short interest about 19% of float, AMC short interest, about 20% of float. So that's high for like regular companies, but it's way down from where it was at the peak of these companies.